Hello, this is a uh, special guest Jake with MacHeads 101. It's going to be another Java tutorial, and um, right now I'm just going to be building a program with you guys. There's not really going to be that much new stuff, maybe one or two new things, but they won't really require that much explanation. But the main point of this is just to um, sort of sit back and build a program with you. So what this is going to, program is going to do is you enter a number and it tells you whether or not it's prime. And in case you know what prime means, it means it's only evenly divisible by one and itself. Which means it is not evenly divisible by um, any other number. Of course, besides one and itself. So, the first thing we're going to do um, is I already got here java.util so we can use the scanner. So we're going to just get in some input from them. Equals... And, of course, I've gone over this before, so if you don't know what I'm doing, just watch the past tutorials. Scanner scan equals scan. Oh, yeah. Equals new scanner. And then I'm just going to um, put out a prompt. Enter a number. Alright. And then I'm going to make an int input equals scan dot next int alright so it's going to ask them to enter a number and whatever they enter is going to be stored in that variable input so now um, we're, how we're going to determine whether or not it's prime is we're going to use a loop and something called the modulus operator so I'm going to build the whole thing first and then I'm going to explain um, how it works because I think that's the best way to show so for I'll just write int i equals 2 and it's important that it equals 2 i is less than input i plus plus and then it's gonna have an if statement in here and so what this does is um I will at some point equal and every uh, positive number between um, 2 and the number right before it. So it'll basically equal everything um, b besides 1 in itself. And so if let's say the number is 5, it'll be 2, 3, 4. Right? At, you know, at some point before the loop breaks, I will once be 2, once be 3, and once be 4. So here's the important part um, the modulus operator so what the modulus operator does is like adding you know the plus sign will add to well if you do something modulus something what it returns is the remainder of them when divided so like let's say you have 17 modulus 2 it would equal 1 because 17 divided by 2 is 8 with the remainder of 1 so if input modulus i equals equals 0, we're going to do something. And so if anything modulus anything equals 0, there's no remainder, which means it's evenly divisible. So it's going to try to divide it by anything, by everything besides 1 in itself. And if at any point it's evenly divisible by something we're gonna do this and I'm going to make something called a boolean which is the only uh, new thing besides the modulus that I'm going to mention here which is a variable that can be set to either true or false it can only be set to two things um, boolean prime and so if input modulus prime equals false which means if at any point it's divisible by something like 3, um, prime equals false. It's not prime. And otherwise, we're going to just say prime equals true. Which means if it's not proven false, it's, if it never, um, what's it called? If it never gets set to false, it'll also be true. It's kind of like a guilty till proven innocent kind of thing. Um... And then I'm just going to make this if statement. If prime equals equals false, 
then system dot out dot print ln um, input plus I'm gonna put a space there so it's not smushed together like that is not prime else if prime equals equals true system dot out dot print ln input plus is prime all right so I'm just gonna run over what this did one more time we got the input from the user and prompted them to enter something. We got the input. That became input. We have this Boolean prime and it starts off as true. Then we're going to make this loop to see if we should set it equal to false. It starts at 2, which means it doesn't include 1 and stops right before it gets to the number because if i is less than input. So let's say it's 17. Um, when it loops, I will be 2, then 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, all the way up to 16. So if at any point, input modulus that equals 0, which means it's evenly divisible, prime equals false. Because if it's evenly divisible by one of those numbers, it is not prime. If prime is false, it prints out whatever they entered is not prime. If prime is true, it prints out whatever they entered is prime. So I'm just going to run this and prove it to you. Enter number. I'll enter um, 19, which is prime. I know it's prime. And um, I'll enter 20, which is not prime. 20 is not prime. And of course, I know if you're going to be um, entering something like one or two, it'll probably mess things up. Um, if you, that's why you could just make some if statements like if input equals one, then you're just gonna print out is not prime, and if input equals two, just print out is prime, and you'd only have to do it for those uh, two numbers because it would just be funky with this. So, um, yeah, that's just a prime number program, just. Uh, you know, sit back and build a program with you guys. So, uh, see ya.